Hey, hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another edition of Life in Lavender Town. Yay! And today um, we're going through the last of the things that I have on my account somehow. <laughs> we somehow worked through all of it and I haven't added new codes recently. There will be new codes, this isn't the end. But we're finally going to like catch me up and get through all this clutter that's been in my account and see if there's any gold to be found in and amongst this it's like there going... is gold right there it's, right yeah the gold chest it's like going through uh going to like a thrift shop or um going to like a garage sale seeing if you can find something like really rare and valuable um that's what we're gonna do right now and we're gonna start by just opening up these random common chests Let's get them. Get them taken care of here See if we get anything worthwhile. Nah. I never say open another, I always say I always close and open another one. You know, I wonder something as I open these chests. Yeah. I wonder if because the plan was always to phase out. Um, Heart gold and soul silver. I wonder if these chests, if you like, like pulled the data on the cards that come out of them, if like for some time now, heart gold and soul silver haven't come out of them. But honestly, I don't even see sun and moon come out of these, so. I'll just buy it. Yeah. All these ones that I've just opened now, there was like the voltage and battle stops cards. See, all, all sword and shield, so I guess that's not... I was just thinking about if there would have been a way to like look for a pattern, you know? Mm -hmm. We're gonna hold that, that hollow chest here, do a couple other things. Let's, uh, let's, well, let's open up this, this Charizard GX deck. Look at that! Yay! I think I have an extra deck box, and I have extra of those foil cards now. I'll, I'll find people that could use these. There's a lot of good cards in here, though. Mm -hmm. um, Jocelyn might need some more. She might, yep, so... Um, no worries there about getting all those extras, so that's cool. And then we'll open up this Plasma Storm here. That was just a random car code that a friend of mine gave me. And I was like, hey, I'll take random stuff. Give me a nice random deck box and stuff. Man, I have not opened up much of this set, but look at the pretty full artwork. Man, these are really, I like how they, the, you can, you can see how in a lot of these, there's like a theme of like really zooming in on the Pokemon. And I think it's really cool how it worked out for this set. Bicycle. It's actually, that'd be really good in the current format. It'd be really good. Oh, and a Snorlax, but with like the Plasma logo in the background. That's cool. I bet that saw playback in the day. I mean, this is before when I played, but just as like... Because it stops your opponent from retreating, you know? Although there's other ways to retreat. Yeah, very cool. I love the blue border, too. I really wish Pokemon would change up this this bland yellow border. It's the worst part of the cards, in my opinion. They should make them... They should all be silvery and pretty like the GX cards were in Sun and Moon era. That's just my feeling. Let's, uh, let's get these two trade lock Vivid Voltage packs knocked out here. Chunky too. Actually, I really just want to get more um, um, Colossal, I think. Uh, coding Energy. I think I have plenty of these, though. Yeah, plenty. Eh, Ninjask. But yeah, you can see now, when you go to the artwork of this set, that it's not the same in this era of Pokemon. Some of the Pokemon are zoomed in on, but not to the same level that the that that last set was like especially okay see this bird is not like it would be filling up the entire frame in the in the set that we just opened recently not that the art isn't pretty in these either it's just it's different and i appreciate that they're always changing oh but i got nothing got nothing all right we'll go to rebel clash then uh, what's up Hi. Hi. Yeah, I have hardly opened up Rebel Clash, actually. 
I had to trade for some of these trainers because I've been putting off opening up Rebel Clash, but... Doggone it! <laughs> I actually <laughs> traded for this the other day. <laughs> it's okay, I don't- I didn't have a playset of them. It was inevitable one way or another that I was gonna end up opening up this set. I'll have to do a little more Rebel Clash. It just... Oh, look at the Oh, it's always doing that. It's always sad. No, it's, it's cleaning itself. Oh, I was thinking it's wiping a tear. Yeah, it's doing like a cat. Got the same sandy gas here. And then, ah, nothing good. That's okay, we'll open up more Rebel Clash here in, in the future. Um, oh, yeah, I suppose, I suppose now's as good a time as any to open up this rare hollow chest. Are you all ready? For a game to the third tier. Yeah! And... Yes, forget you to 13. 20 is better. Yeah! I'll take that! I will take that hit! That's awesome. That's cool to get a V. It's been a while since I got a V out of a chest. Granted, I mean, gold chests are more likely to give you one. I wonder how many more of these ladders there are going to be before the, the big transition, you know? Anyway, very cool. We got something finally in this video. Uh, and now we'll go ahead and just hit up these base set packs. <laughs> metal Ooh, more metal saucers, there you go. Uh, Ooh! More metal saucers. Yeah, we, I got her. Well, I at least got her one. And an energy, a reverse energy switch, though. That'll be nice. Oh, hey, nice! Get another Cramorant. The Cramorant's really good. 160 to, to the bench. It's pretty nice. Especially early on. Now, I mean, the format has more options to hit to the bench, obviously, but... Yeah, for a while, Cramorant was, like, the best bench hitter <laughs> in the format. At least the... The... V-series. Sword and Shield. Am I gonna get a second one? Oh, ooh, but Shady Dealings and Talion is always welcome. It's such a great card. So good. It's amazing how long Inteleon and its line was not really played in the format. Kind of, kind of stunning, actually. There we go, more Metal Saucers. We got you, Jocelyn. Yo! Give me more Zamazenta! Let's go! Let's get it! Such a good Pokemon preventing all damage from VMAXs, and then, you know, it's got a decent attack, but it wouldn't that attack wouldn't be great at all, except for this. This ability is why this gets thrown into Zacian Dex. Zacian. I guess is how it's specifically pronounced. Mm hmm Yeah, I will take that to the bank, boy. Sword and Shield is being real good to us. Maybe get a couple more uh, metal saucers for Jocelyn. Ooh, there we got that playset of Frostmoth! Let's go! Attaching water as freely from my hand to my Pokemon is just exceptional. It's exquisite. I love it. <laughs> Sword and Shield. What a lovely set. So many good playable cards in it. But not, not that one. <laughs> not all of them. Not all cards from the set are pretty equal. But man, are there a lot of good ones. Almost not a pack here that hasn't had a good trainer. Like, man, this is... Sun and Moon did not have the trainers. Sun and Moon base set, that Sword and Shield base set. Yeah. Metal Saucer, Quick Ball, Great Ball, Reprint, Air Balloon, Energy Search. Like, all the basics got reprinted in this. Celebi V! Let's get it! All the V cards from Sword and Shield. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Man, that's a pull rate you want. Very cool. Yeah, um, I mean, I think what it really is is that Sun and Moon had a lot of reprints too, but there were so many good cards already in the format, whereas by the time this came around, a lot of the good cards had rotated out, so these became staples just by matter of fact, you know? Knocked 
Scowl. Okay, we already had Float Stone by the time Sun and Moon came on, so we wouldn't have needed something like Air Balloon. Rose Raid. And we already had Ultra Ball, right? So there wasn't going to be a ball. Well, Ultra Ball did get a Sun and Moon, I shouldn't say that. But Sun and Moon also has uh, Zashian and Zamazenta. Oh, and Palpad Reaper is in here too. That's a great card. And uh, there was one, really one good attacker in Sun and Moon base. It was Espion GX. I, they said UI GX was really good too, but then Forest of Giant Plants went away, and then its era came to a close. But it won a world championship, I think. Or it was up there. I don't know if won that world championship. Don't judge me for my lack of Pokemon knowledge. It was one of the top four decks that year, for sure. Alright. Well, still a good haul. And uh, and we've got Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, and then Evolving Skies. And then we're done with, with mine for right now. We did it. Yeah, you know, I just keep kept adding it. Oh, really? I didn't have any Urn of Vitality? This just goes to show you how, how little of this set I've opened. And that I haven't really made a single strike deck, but I really want to. I want it. I want to be in the in the format. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I get some tool jammer action going. I mean I've got plenty of those, but I'm not complaining about it either. More of this. Oh, it's not the Mad Party one. I'm okay with that. Then. They're so short. That's good. Mm -hmm. You sure are. We need to get something here. Where do we get that, that sweet, sweet Urshifu love? Maybe a couple more Houndoom? But the Emperor says you can do it. I believe in you. Well, thanks, Yamper. Look what you did, Yamper! Look what you did! You got me a full art. I don't have that art. Oh! Didn't you have a full art single strike mustard? Or is it, um... There's two different ones. Yeah, there's... It's like Rose. I love full art supporters. I just traded a bunch of rainbow it's rare supporters. Rapid oh, rapid strike mustard. Yeah, I think I now have both, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a, it's a good card too. Yeah, and you know, search and draw five. I mean, you gotta get your hand emptied, but these days that's not hard. That's not hard to do. You need full art. I know. <laughs> I'm just. I have one last rainbow rare. Trainer that uh, or supporter that I'm trying to trade. Well, I've got one that's trade locked too. I can't do anything about that though. Yeah, give me the rapid strike. Oh, and I've got plenty. Now I got extra. Here you go, Jocelyn. <laughs> that was awesome. That's I love floor supporters. Transferred. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cards. I think. Probably at least 6,000 cards to Jocelyn. At least. Yeah. That was a lot. You've got a lot of cards. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's a crazy amount of cards. Kingdra. Oh, I thought that was going to be something for sure. Jellicent is... Oh, man, I just forget that Pokemon all the time. It's a jelly bug. It's one of the Pokemon I forget the most. I'm honest. Scroll action. Hey, there we go. Give me that single strike Urshifu V. It's my first one. Ooh. Yeah, and it's a good one, even with, you know, I, it needs the VMAX to be in the meta. But as first Pokemon Go, like being able to search and, and a, a, like accelerate fighting energy right away, really handy. Really, really handy. 
So I I love that. That's a great card. It's an underrated gem. This is exactly what I was hoping for out of this. This makes me so happy. All the good cards. Whoa, yes! I want my Corviknights! I've been so jealous of you. You get all the good Corviknights. I don't have that bird. Oh, you don't have the regular art? Nope. Oh! I have... The full art, maybe? You got the VMAX. Yeah. You have like three, th three VMAX. <laughs> that was just... That was crazy. You were just pulling them left and right. Left, right, and center. More Rapid Strike energy to share with Jocelyn. Oh, man. Can't get anything else, though, can it? Yo! Let's get it! I love Tyranitar. Oh man. And I've been seeing it see some play. Um, because, you know, if you're doing a mill deck, Craigalanch mills. Not as much as Durant does though, but um, still. Not a lot of leaf Pokemon to do double damage, so he can tank hits while he's discarding their cards. Yeah, it's a good card. It's not an amazing card, not a world beating card. I wish Tranitar had a meta defining card. I would love that. But it doesn't. I like Piper Beam Bang Action something. Yeah. Are you are you serious? <laughs> He's stalking me. He's trying to say I love you. I love you too, Tranitar. I, I I I adore you as a Pokemon. You're amazing. You're just a giant Godzilla-type Pokemon. Three hits in a row, by the way, that is. Yeah. So many. What a video. I did not expect it to be this good, this many hits. A lot of them are... Yeah. That's a good card to get. It's good to have an extra copy of that. And oh my god, we are full up on these sound dudes already. Between this and I think I have like a hollow. Um, so that's awesome. And that thus ends my streak with three in a row, and I'm okay with that. How do you get two in a row of Tranitar V? Maybe just like, if I could be greedy here, Rapid Strike Urshifu? Yay! Now I got a playset of Single Strike Energy and more level balls to give to Jocelyn. I can't expect any more from this set. Battle Styles seems to open bonkers bullets, though, on the online TCG. People said in real life that its pull rate was really bad, although... It, yeah, no, I didn't have a hollow of this, so now I have a full playset of Houndoom, Single Strike Roar. Wow, love it. Yeah, people said it had a bad pull rate in real life, but honestly, it was good. It was better than Sun and Moon, for sure. And not meaningfully different. Oh, wow, I don't have more of these. Metal transfer bronzo? I'm surprised. Yeah, one more pack. But no, I mean, it's still 1 in 7. One in, one in, uh, I'm sorry, 7 or 8 hits per, per booster box. So, I mean, it's still close to around 1 in 4. Or 1 in 5 and a half. 1 in 5, 1 in 4 and a half, I should say. Yo. Look at this pull rate! Look at this! It just doesn't happen in the online TCG. It just doesn't. I love it! I love you, Tapu Coco. You're amazing. I I wish that you were a better card in the format, but hey, you get played it as a one-off in Electric Dance. And that means something. Tapu Coco is all, one of those cards I think that will always get loved by the TCG. It's just a very popular Pokemon. Oh, we'll get more of these cast forms. And just Gengar. What does the last gift do again? If it's knocked out, you get to search for two cards and put them in your hand. And then it has an attack that does more damage for each damage counter. You could do something with that for sure. It's just tough to get Evolve Dunk to, to do some of those sort of things. Let's see, man. I just have not... I had to go out and trade for a lot of Calyrex because I just couldn't pull them for, for crap. Oh! That Inteleon is really good, though. Love it. Now I've got a full playset of it. 
Don't. You're always gonna gonna use the the shady dealings one. Well, until it rotates, but still, it's a great pull. All right, and here we are. And this is like, man, I desperately am trying to get Rayquaza and evolutions. There's so much more evolving skies we need to open. The order. Yo! Yo! <laughs> what is going on? Why does it only reduce damage by 20, though? Oh well. The point is, it's a gold card, and it's pretty. I think our booster box did get cancelled, yes. I I should have said that at the beginning of the video. I'll try to remember to mention it and at the beginning of our next video. But, yes, the booster box that we've been waiting on, our second booster box, got cancelled. I'm very sad about it. I kept talking about how much we were going to open that booster box up. I know we've opened up a lot of this set, but I wanted it to be the one last hurrah. And you can't find it at retail anymore. You just can't. Dude, that gold card. Trade lock doesn't mean anything anymore now because everything's gonna be trade locked in a month or two when the, the changeover happens. Sorry, guard. So we'll have to figure out what we want to do. I know the the card shop where we play, not the card shop where we mostly buy Pokemon cards um, in our town is like, they had already marked up, the booster boxes were already um, $160 when I went in there a week after launch, and then they said, yeah, and tomorrow we're marking it up by like another 40 And I was just like, I just wanted to just look at them and be like, I have no respect for you at all. Like, that's just gross. That's the one that you play with. It is. I buy, I do buy sleeves and stuff there because I want to at least contribute something for the fact that I play there. I wish that the card shop where I actually get really good deals at. Come on, what an ending. I, I, I wish that they had Pokemon play there, but I'm happy to give them my business because they don't take advantage of their customers. That is an awesome ending. What a video. Ooh. How amazing is that? And check it out. Empty. For once. <laughs> Finally empty. But here, just show not owned. It always is due for Jim is the first thing. Um, the play Pokemon Rewards from 2015. This was awesome. I am really happy with that haul that we just got. But stay tuned next time for a nut. Where well, we gotta open up your stuff. Now. Yeah. So come back next time because we're gonna be opening up a bunch of stuff on Joanna's profile on another edition of Life from Lavender Town. Yeah. Bye. bye.